Mira, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go, Mira. Every day, there's something new and magical. Nature is always putting on a show. Sometimes you just have to wake up early to see it. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it's amazing. What are you waiting for? Could it be this? Is this what you want? Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite part about waking up in a situation like this? Besides the coffee? <laughs> <laughs> the coffee's good. Oh, dude, what's not to like? Morning mist, singing birds, all varieties, cranes, loons. Mira's so happy. I got a good pal here. Come on. Is that me? Yeah, that's you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is pretty awesome to wake up here. Oh, yeah. This is what bike touring is all about, isn't it? Yeah, capturing these little moments. Oh, yeah little gems you wake up in the morning. It's perfect. All right, bye beautiful campsite, thank you. Okay, Mira, time to go. Let's go, buddy. That was quite the campsite last night. Really special spot. A lot of mosquitoes, but it was worth it to have the lakeside view. It is 7.30 a.m., a nice early start, Sunday morning. And today, we are in pursuit of my friend Kevin. He flew into Jackson yesterday to meet us for a little, a little riding. You're gonna love Kevin, he's a great guy. I actually met him at Ragbri two years ago. Really good dude. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Ah, yes. My butt feels a little sore today. <laughs> but at least my legs are feeling all right. All these washboard roads are like putting my butt into like a meat tenderizer. Ba 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 ba. We just rode by this snow marker here and it goes up to 16 feet i can't imagine 16 feet of snow in this area but maybe it gets that high sometimes that's pretty crazy wow i love how the seasons change in these areas where in summertime it's really really hot and then in winter time it's full-on winter Here's a fun fact you didn't know about John. He was once a pro bike racer wow. in Canada, and he knows not a pro. thing or two about riding bikes. Or maybe not pro, but he rode for a living, right? Anyway, yeah. give us some tips on riding washboards. Yeah, so when you're out back bike packing or just mountain biking on a dirt road, and you're going downhill with uh, sharp switchbacks or sharp turns, the, the drivers that are coming up tend to go to the inside of the hairpin bend. And while under power, their, their suspension and the power will create a hard washboard. So we normally on the road want to cut the apex of a turn, but on the dirt, we want to go to the outside of the turns 
that way we'll have the smoothest line it won't be all chattery so if you're going down and you're turning to the left you're staying in your lane and if you're going down and turning to the right typically you're crossing lanes to the outside and then if they have a bit of a bank so much the better you can just ride that berm all the way around it's nice and smooth and you'll be in control there you go stay tuned for more cycling tips from john <laughs>
man. Good, good to see you, bro. Good to see you, too. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, dude. How you doing? What, what is up? up? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Kevin. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Wow. That's a new friend. Yeah. Hi, Mira. Hi, Mira. It's so okay. exciting. There's so much excitement. <laughs> oh, my. Kevin lives in Minneapolis, sea level. How yeah. you feeling so far? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Show off that booty, man. Show off that booty. Ooh, ooh. Boop, boop. Come on, Kevin. You got it, buddy. Just a little Rocky Mountain hill. What do you think, Kevin? How you feeling? Feeling great. I love that I only have to do 20 miles today. Yeah. <laughs> we decided to end it a little early today. We found a great little camp spot next to some water. And Mira is ready with the sticks. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm doing here? I'm warming up this cinnamon roll in the afternoon sun. And I'm so excited. Dana would be proud of me. She makes the best cinnamon rolls at her cafe. This is probably not gonna be as good, but I'm excited about it. This is called a mountain washing machine. You come in with all your clothes and you come out clean. He's doing the dip, yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah, oh God, feels cool. great. I'm really enjoying our camp spot because we can just hang out in the water and we're gonna go to sleep tonight with the sound of running water. And it's hot here in Wyoming. The last few days of Montana were pretty mild, 75-ish degrees. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have a lot hotter temps going into Wyoming. Look at Mira waiting us for us to come over. Mira will be over after dinner. <laughs> You're so funny. She's got her pile of sticks all ready to go. The cinnamon roll is pretty good. Sun baked. So Kevin, what made you want to drop your job for two weeks and come bike packing here in the Continental Divide? It was Mira, honestly, the idea that I'd be Mira. No, <laughs> I, I wanted to do something that I've never done before, first off. Two, it's on my like, bucket list. I have a list, Kev does 101. 101 things I gotta do in 1,001 days. The reason I put it on there is because I think that on a trip like this, you push yourself so hard, you find new places within your own mind, you find new places your body can take you. And I also wanted to see the scenery, honestly. I mean, I live in Minnesota where there's not mountains. I've lived in Iowa for eight years before that, but there's not mountains, so mountains. Awesome. Yeah. How'd Gotta you take the advantage of it? How'd you get into bike packing in general? Ooh. I think you played a part in that, your videos. <laughs> Definitely. Sorry. No, you <laughs> I love it. How did I? Well, I think I first got into cycling, then I got into camping, but I don't like walking. I actually I detest just walking. So the idea of backpacking wasn't as attractive to me, but then once I found out about bike packing, you can combine the camping with the cycling. I said I was sold. <laughs> I was love sold. It. Love it, man. Cool. We're going to have a great time. Yes, we are. We are glad you're time. here. We are glad you're here. And yeah. since I asked Kevin, I don't think I've ever asked you, how did you get into bikepacking? I got into bikepacking. Well, cycling in general, German club in high school had a trip going to Germany. A friend suggested we do it. We bought bicycles. The trip was canceled. And so we just kept <laughs> we just kept riding and uh, eventually you want to ride somewhere further afield so it was classic you know on the road uh, touring and then you look to go somewhere a bit more off the beaten path mirror we're trying to film <laughs> stop digging hey. a hole yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Okay. <laughs> you want to start again? Continue. No, that's great. Start oh, from where yeah. you stepped off. Yeah. So you wanted? I wanted to go sort of places that were, for, you know, less traveled, and uh, yeah, a little internet search. Next thing you know, you're bike packing. You know, oh. and uh, now it's been, yeah, and then dog packing evolved from that. So 
with another dog, Melon, for a couple of years, and then uh, Mira now is three, so we've she's been bike packing, dog packing for three years now. So yeah, that's our little story. A little tent talk to finish off the day. A great day. Another great day. Every day really is. It's been awesome, and I'm really happy to have Kevin along. He is a a wonderful young man, and uh, I think we're gonna have a great time together. You know, we've got a good crew. We've got four of us. I was like three. No, we got four. We have Mira. Mira's part of the gang as well. And uh, I, I'm feeling feeling like I've I've made some progress. You know, all the way through Montana, Idaho, and a little bit of Wyoming. You know, when you first start a tour and you're like three days in, you're like, wow, I haven't gone very far. But now I have. <laughs> so that's always a good feeling when you can look on a map and be like, okay, we're doing this. All this pedaling is getting us somewhere. <sighs> Happy Sunday, buenas noches. Come on, Kevin, time to channel the little engine that could. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can.